What's up, Glassy Gang? It is Glassy, and this is your favorite YouTuber, probably next to Linus Tech Tips and Jay's Two Cents. But let's be fair, I'm, I'm equally as good looking as one of them. I'll just let you determine which one I'm talking about. But today we're mainly going to be talking about the differences between RGB and addressable RGB because just because something says RGB doesn't necessarily mean it's addressable. What's the difference between the two that you ask? Well, just watch the video and you'll find out. So whenever we're talking about the differences between, you know, RGB, which means red, green, blue, those are the main colors that make up the rest of the spectrum. Then you have addressable RGB, which means that you can control them to do that spectrum that we just talked about instead of having them only do like red, green, blue, yellow, and just cycle through one color at a time versus you being able to control it with some software. But in the midst of all that, we're also going to be discussing how there are some products on Amazon that could be lying to you. So gaming accessories such as keyboards and mice have changed quite a bit over the last few decades. Not only do they offer better ergonomics and features, they also have been keeping up with current trends, which is RGB lighting. And so RGB is definitely one of the more prevalent phrases that you've been hearing and reading online. And it's become increasingly popular. If you think about it, computers used to be just big black hunks of metal that people just threw stuff into. You didn't have any lighting and that's why you didn't have any motherboards that looked all fancy and whatnot. Now the term RGB just gets thrown around like it's nothing. That's why you need to be careful on the products that you're purchasing on websites like Amazon. Really quick, we're going to discuss what you need to look out for when purchasing RGB products. Just because you're purchasing a product that says RGB doesn't mean that you're going to be able to have the ability to customize it and set it to actual specific color patterns that you want. In most instances, you'll get stuff that has this recognizable like flowing rainbow. So, you know, like unicorn vomit whenever you have your cases that are nothing but rainbow. That's some of the stuff that you'll sometimes get in these products, but it's not addressable nor changeable that you'll get that or a solid color. It's like some of these PC cases that have built in RGB in it. Well, it's just the button on top where you can change the color or change it to a multi. The biggest way to not get caught in situations like these is make sure that you actually read the description of the product that you're looking to purchase and make sure it says addressable RGB. Typically, you can find these things in Corsair products, Razer products, Asus products, and so on. Those companies literally have their own software. Even Lee and Lee has their own software dedicated to being able to address these different colors. Now, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and run you through some of the software. We're going to check it out. I'm going to show you how you can actually make your stuff addressable based off the products that you purchased. So guys, whenever we're talking about the difference between RGB and addressable RGB, this would be a good time to describe what that actually is. So addressable RGB means that you are completely able to change the color. It's not just red, green, blue. It's the entire spectrum, as you can see here. This is addressable. Let's say I wanted to do just red and black. You know, we're part of the dark side now. Hey, look, forget the Jedi. We're the Sith. Let's say we're gonna, you, you know, you're just like your, your cousin Ted. Well, that doesn't look red and blue, red and blue. And let me show you why that kind of looks like that. So my fans are Lee and Lee fans, which means they can also run off of Lee and Lee's software. I have this thing software to the motherboard. So if I turn that off, it won't be correlated right here with Asus Creator. So we'll just turn that off and boom. Now we're back to Lee and Lee's colors. I have it set to Runaway right now because that's just what I liked. Uh, let's see what else they have. Let's go for Firework and we're going to apply to all. This is what you would consider addressable RGB. I'm completely able to control what exactly happens. Now I'm just going to set that back to Motherboard. And now we're back to running with Aura Sync. Now me, I have mine personalized. So I have it down here to Aura Creator set to Ice Blue. Because I like it. You know, it's got that bubblegum look. I don't know why it's titled Ice Blue, but that's just the way it is for me. Let's set that back. Now you might be asking, oh, why is your RAM not changing? That's because I have Corsair RAM, which means I have to go back to another thing called Corsair's IQ. And that's cor currently how I have my dims set up. So let's say like I wanted to change it from static color to uh, rainbow wave. So it'll change the ones that I have set up to rainbow wave. And there you go. Now you can kind of see it changing on the screen just a little bit. The, the color is a little too bright, so it makes it a little harder for you to see that. Now we're back to my main theme. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at that, hopefully you have a little bit of a better understanding whenever it comes to RGB versus addressable RGB. This should help you go into the products that you're looking at purchasing to help you make a better decision on what you want. You don't want to just buy something that just lights up. You want to buy something that has, you know, you can add your pizzazz, your flavor into. Something that's you. I like to have mine like the bubblegum theme that I just showed you. It looks good. Now, probably in a couple weeks, I change it. This is actually the longest I've had it for like maybe two months. I change my colors every few weeks, but I have to change it on my keyboard 
keyboard, my mouse, my mouse pad, my fans, my RAM, motherboard. I've got a lot of stuff and there's a lot of different software to have to deal with. But guys, that's the little bit of tech news I wanted to give you. I want you to know the difference of this stuff before you buy it. Don't worry about the hair. I love you guys. Make sure you get subscribed. If you're not subscribed, give this video a thumbs up because we need to let other people know that they don't want to fall into the trap of just buying something that lights up. They want to buy something that they are going to love. So with that being said, thanks for being a part of the Glassy Gang. I love you and I'll see you next time. Oh,